Hello YouTube. Today we are going to look at the uh, Core 21 cards for Brawl, specifically Commander's card. that are going to be your Commanders. I'm going to rank them from 5 to 1 and I'm going to give some honorable mentions. Let me know what cards you like from my list, what cards you don't like, what you disagree down in the comments below. Let's get started. <laughs> Let's start with few honorable mentions. These are cards that will not be commander or general, but they are cards that are going to be useful or fun to build around. Let's start with Chromatic Orrery. Legendary artifact that is kind of chromatic lantern that you can spend any mana to produce any mana, but only not only from lands but also from other sources. You can basically add 5 mana, that is 5 mana of any color, and also you can pay 5 mana and tap it to draw a card for each color of permanence you could. So if you have a Niv Mizzet or the next card we are gonna talk about, you're gonna draw 5 cards for 5 mana. It's a pretty big deal. The second card is Sanctum of Ul. At the beginning of your upkeep you must search your library and or graveyard for a shrine card and put it to the battlefield. And if you search the library this way, shuffle it of course, shuffle every time you search your library. <laughs> And if an ability of another shrine you control triggers, so you control six or more shrines, that ability triggers one more time. That's really good. This is gonna be a fun build around. We have the five shrines in M21, and also we have five shrine in the historic. So this could be a nice build around in historic. We have also idyllic tutor to search for shrines. I think it's pretty good and it's gonna be pretty fun. At number 5 we have Ugin the Spirit Dragon. It's a reprint and it's a pretty great card. I put it only at number 5 because of the support of colorless lands that is present in Brawl especially. I think you can only have like 24 or 25 lands that you can play in Brawl, in Historic Brawl. And I don't think you might be able to build it in Brawl if you want to put Ugin as your commander. But the effects of this card are really really powerful. You can probably try it out right now, but I would probably wait for new colorless lands coming out in the next sets. And number 4 we have Rada Heart of Keld. That when it's your turn, uh, she has first strike. I think this ability is not great, but the second ability I think is what makes her a great commander card. You can look at the top card of your library at any time. And you may play land from the top of your library, so it helps smooth out your draws, draw land, and uh, pairing with some green ram spells and some red haymakers could be a good gruel ramp deck in your broad arsenary. As third place, we are Teferi Master of Time. The marquee card of this Teferi center set that is score 21. This is a nice new card that I think is really powerful in all the formats especially in brawl multiplayer or commander multiplayer because you can activate the ability of the fairy any turn so you can actually play it every single time you can activate any the first ability to draw a card is card a card it's not the best but it's at either but i feel like the powerful ability is the ultimate that you take two extra turns after this one that sets you up to win. Being mono blue might not be the best color combo for brawl or historic brawl, but I think you can build a tempo deck. If you remember, the best brawl deck, the brawl inception, was actually Baral. It was a mono blue deck, so focus on countering cards. So let's see, maybe the fair is the new Baral. We will see. Number 2 we have Nyambi, Esteemed Speaker. This is a 2-1 with flash for 2 mana. It is Azorius Colors. And Azorius Colors have good uh, enter the battlefield abilities. And also there are spells that lets you bring the cards like Momentary Blink or other blue or white spells. When this enters the battlefield you may return another creature you control to the owner hand. If you, you gain life equal to the creature's converted mana cost. The gaining life might not be too relevant, but 
as I said, uh, blue white has a lot of good enter the battlefield effects, like uh, elite card mage, I think it's called. Second part of the text is a discard a legendary card to draw two cards. Probably not what makes Niambi a great commander card, but it can be serviceable in case you have a legendary expensive cards and you need to find a land, or if you are like in the game and your legendary spell doesn't matter too much and you just prefer to have to come. I think this deserves the number two spot and I'm definitely gonna try it out and see how it goes. At number one we have the buy a box promo that is Rin and Seri inseparable. Whenever you cast a dog spell you create a 1-1 cat and when you cast a cat you create a 1-1 dog. It's kind of weird that you cast a cat and you get a dog, but I feel like that's the flavor of the card. I feel like this card is gonna be really good, just because of the amount of cats in the sets, in all the previous sets. There are not too many dogs, that's a bit worrisome. As you can see, there are going to be 43 cards that are gonna be legal after Core 21 comes out for this commander. There are a lot of good cat synergies like a uh, learning war reader creating cats you have a kahira that anthems the cats and anthems also the dogs so it's pretty good there are a lot of good cats that you can build around so definitely be on the lookout for this uh, commander i think this commander is gonna be the best of core 21 and it's gonna be fun to build around you should give it a try and let me know how it goes. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And let me know what cards did I miss that I should play as a commander. As a reminder, I stream on Twitch at 7 p.m. Pacific time on Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch. The link is down in the description below. If you would like to stop by and say hi and discuss the new cards or just see me play some games or just chat, please stop by. Thanks everyone for watching, I'll see you next time.